Hello everyone, CCG Collector here. It's pretty hard to find Middle Earth CCG products these days. Sure, there are some items on eBay, and there are a few card trading sites where you can exchange singles, but beyond that, the pickings are pretty slim. However, there is a website, guaihir.net, which is where this package comes from today. Now, this is a Dutch storefront, and it's pretty well stocked with Sealed products, complete card sets, uh, binders even, uh, uncut sheets, and I, I love uncut sheets. I don't love the prices, but I love uncut sheets. I didn't get any today, as you can clearly see from the size of this box. And they come in all sorts of languages too. Dutch, German, English, and I think Japanese, possibly Italian. Anyway, the point is, I've got this great big box from that website, and we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Gotta be very careful here. I don't want to accidentally slash any of the things I spent money on. It looks like we won't have a problem. Pretty well packaged. Let's get this out of the way. Got some cushioning on the sides too. That's always nice to see. All right. Uh, let's let's start with the binders. me. Alright, see this is enclosed in its own bag, which is taped shut for additional security, so that's nice. Okay. This, oh, would you look at that. This is binder number one. Now this is a from the, obviously, as you can tell, from the Dutch uh, version of the game. It was produced, I believe, oh, D-Rings, how about that, by 999 Games? Yeah, right there, 999 Games. They were the, the distributor for the Middle Earth CCG in, in Europe, or at least in the Netherlands. Now, the interesting story behind this, and, of course, the other one, Gandalf fighting the Balrog, Beautiful artwork, and it should be because it was made by famed Lord of the Ring art, Lord of the Rings artist John Howe. <laughs> Thing is, he did not know that his art was going to be used for these. There are actually three binders. Let me see if I can get a picture of the other one. Yeah, so here, yeah, sorry, that's not great, but you can see it just. Gandalf walking along, Gandalf the Grey. So there were three different binders, and I believe they were given out as some sort of promotion at a tournament or or something of that sort. And John Howe discovered this, and he got a little bit upset because no one had asked his permission, no one had told him that it was going to be used for that. And he was basically told, you know what, they didn't sell well, and the exposure you got should be good enough. So we don't, we're not compelled to owe you any royalties or any of that. So these are actually unlicensed use of the artwork. That said, binders feel pretty solid. Uh, nice smooth feel, plastic coated here. Uh, incidentally, uh, 999 Games also used some of his artwork for their other products. Now, this is one example, obviously this didn't come from the box, but this is the Dutch uh, starter deck for Middle Earth the Wizards. You may have seen me open this in another video. And this artwork was used for both this and for a pretty rare card, uh, the Dutch promo version of Test of Form, which is originally a card from the Wizards, but the, the new one had this artwork on it. Anyway, that, that's hard to find. On eBay, there was one that was listed for about 200 bucks, and it's no longer available, so I have to assume someone bought it at that price. Anyway, enough of that for now. What else do we have here? Okay, that's just more padding, which is good. It was padded to fit the box. And then I had purchased some challenge decks and some singles. And those are bagged up in their own bag as well. Let's see if I can find the opening here. I mean, I guess I'm, it's not like I'm ever going to reuse this bag, so I can just tear into it, but, you know, whatever. All right, challenge deck uh, A. Challenge deck uh, D, I believe. Yep, bargain between friends, right? I guess. 
challenge deck E, challenge deck I, uh, which king? Yeah, it looks about right. Couple of cards, and then also a lidless eye started set. And this is starter deck, and this is actually um, one that I either don't have or I wanted to make a, a deck out of it and I couldn't or something like that. The point is, I needed it, I have it. All right, now here are the singles. Interesting. <laughs> I, I don't have the uh, the card list at hand. I was kind of hoping he'd include... Well, I guess I do have it at hand. I was kind of hoping he would include it. Now, that is very interesting to me. I don't remember ordering that. Let me pull up my... It's not really an invoice, but when I... Sorry, I'm speaking away from the camera. It's not really an invoice, but it's... You know, I emailed him. I said, these are the cards I want. He said, okay. Let's go through here now. Uh, also, the cards on this site are listed as near mint slash near mint, I believe. And, and that's by the official Scry uh, definition of the term. Scry is the card collecting magazine from 90s, early 2000s. Which doesn't mean perfect or anything like that. It means unplayed and some small errors are acceptable. So I said, okay, you know what, I'll take my chances. But this one looks pretty nice. Or tracker. Where is this from, anyway? It's from the Lidless Eye, I guess. But I don't remember buying this. Give me just a second. I'm going to pull up my, uh, my uh, card list. Sorry about this. So I'm on the little computer that you had uh, seen me put the binder image up on. All right. Core Hill, Witch King, Rain Man, Creature. Okay, so I actually only purchased cards from the uh, the Wizards Unlimited and Against the Shadow. So maybe this was just thrown in for fun? Who knows? Which is actually why I was very surprised to see <laughs> this right here, because this is not an English card, which, don't get me wrong, I don't mind. It's just not one of the things I ordered. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Gates of Morning. Oh, he probably, you know, he probably just used some commons or some fixed cards to kind of work the front and back, which is fine. Oh, but would you look at these? These actually look great. I'm very happy with that. A core Hill. Dwarven Ring of Druin's Tribe. Dwarven Ring of Durin's Tribe. Dwarven Ring of Dwalin's Tribe. Elves of Linden. Yeah, these are crisp. Ah, I think these look great. I'm very happy. All right. Fair Travels and Freedom Mains. Fell Turtle. I don't remember that from the movies. Mr. Elephant Head himself. Yeah, you may remember me opening this in a pack, but I guess it wasn't good enough. <laughs> Kamol the Easterling, Lost at Sea. Yeah, I am very happy with these. Lucky Search, Minas Morgul, Magic Ring of Courage, Aomir, and Eagle's Eyrie from Against the Shadow. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. All right, put these down. Open up these guys. Yeah, okay, so he just... Took commons or some other cards like that. <laughs> That's really clever. He has the gates of morning covering the one, doors of night covering the other. I like that. It's a nice touch. And then Tiefe Verschlagenheit. Now, I actually, I'm going to send him, the, the seller, the link to this video, and he's going to laugh at my mispronunciation, I'm sure. Palantir of, I probably shouldn't have tossed that so casually, of Anuminus, Sacrifice of Form, Silent Watcher, Smog, Southrons, the balance of things, and you can see all of these. Oh, the, Naz wait, wait. the Nazgul are abroad. I know I needed this for Wizards Limited. I don't know if I ordered it for Unlimited. Let me quick check. Do, 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 do. Nazgul are abroad. Blue bordered. I did say blue bordered. Okay, I did say blue bordered. I guess I needed it for that too. Thorin the second. Tom Bombadil, Witch King of Angmar. And now we're on to the Against the Shadow cards. Creature of an Older World. Man, these look great. I am very pleased with these cards. Grey Havens, Hail of Darts, Lorien. And I'm sorry if these are out of focus. I don't know if they're not, because I'm actually looking at the cards themselves, not the screen. Normally I look at the screen. Padding Feet, Rivendell. I just love how the artwork got in the later sets. A lot of these are reprints. I mean, this isn't truly a reprint. It's a Haven and or a Dark Haven. Or no, it's a free... Whatever. The point is... It's a different card, it's the same location, but they use different artwork for it, and it looks great. Steeds, The Great Eye, and Thong of Fire. 
That's outstanding. I, I am very happy with this purchase. It was absolutely worth it. Now, there are a couple of caveats. First of all, what you see is what you get on his site. He does not have some sellers, like on eBay especially, will have stock that they don't list just because it's a hassle to list. He prides himself in keeping his inventory updated. So I checked. I said, do you have any of these cards? He said, sorry, no. I said, that's fine. These are what I bought. I'm very happy with them. So that's caveat number one. Caveat number two, this is, as I said before, a Dutch website. That means not only do you have international shipping uh, in terms of travel time, but you also have international shipping in terms of shipping costs. And as you can imagine, a box as big as the one you saw me opening was not the cheapest to ship. Yes, if he had just sent me the cards or if he had just sent me the challenge decks, it would have been a little bit cheaper. It still would have been pricey because it was overseas, of course. But because of the binders, it really cranked up the price. This was $40 shipping for the entire lot. That said, I think it's a fair price. And, well, I shouldn't say it's a fair price. It was a price I was willing to pay. So if you do go through this, make sure that you order enough to get the most out of the shipping. Uh, you know, if you order the uh, complete set of cards, an uncut sheet or whatever, you know, that's great. Particularly, and it's also, you can make the argument that it's at a bit of a premium because you can't really find these things anywhere else. I mean, where the heck are you going to find Dutch uncut sheets of Middle Earth CCG cards? So, long story short, this is guaihir.net, G-W-A-I, I don't know if I had, G-W-A-I-H-I-R, something like that. Uh, yeah, G-W-A-I-H-I-R dot N-E-T. And the seller is very communicative. I emailed him. I got an email right back. We had a really good conversation. Here are what were the shipping costs going to be for this. What if I did this? I offered him a couple options. He said, here's what it would cost. Made the transaction. Very smooth. And really, the shipping was, was remarkably quick, too. The place that spent the longest amount of time was at the customs office in America. Anyway, all that being said, got a great haul here. Sorry about that. Got a great haul here. Got some fantastic Middle Earth binders with unlicensed artwork. Uh, some great cards in outstanding condition, unplayed. And, of course, challenge decks that I needed and a starter deck that I needed. Guayhere.net. Look them up for all your MECCG needs. And I am the CCG Collector. I'll see you next time.